Well, hello everybody. I'm glad you're here. I'm Marty Whitney and I'm with Artitude Adjustment. I teach fun art, not fine art. And I'd like to welcome you to the show. It's kind of crazy around here in my neighborhood right now. Everybody, uh, we're, we're with our daughter for just a couple of days um, at her house. And we're trying to uh, corral uh, cats. Corral cats and take care of Halloween monsters and, uh, well, yeah. And um, we'll be here till Sunday. And so uh, I wasn't, I didn't realize this was the weekend. So everybody thought, uh-oh, she's gone wild, crazy woman. Uh, when I said, uh, is this the weekend that you were talking about? So I didn't have any, well, I did bring some supplies to do a couple of live, lives, but not what I would have brought. So we're just finishing up something this week, and that's what I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to put this so you can see my little bitty face. Uh, sorry, the body isn't little. Well, it is. It's, it's so little. And uh, we're going to put this so that you can see me. Uh, this is the name of the show that we're... This is the name of the show. And I'm Marty Whitney. And we're going to be... Oops. Well, I'll hello there. You. There. That is the palette I'm going to be working with today. I'm going to try uh, to turn on the light that gives me a little bit more light. Okay, and I'm going to see if I can see some of the comments that y'all are making as you come on. There you go. Just give me one second while it comes up, and we'll be looking at comments, too. There you go. Uh, I have not always been this good on the uh, this equipment, and it says that my video has been paused. Let's see what's going on. Looks like it's going on. So, anyway, this is the project that we started last Friday and ended yesterday, I believe, after it was sprayed. Now, these were, um, good, I'm glad it came back on. Hi, Leka. I'm so glad you're here today. And is the, looks like the video is interrupted. Is that the case? Uh, it says it will be on shortly. Uh, this is this is the spray that I used uh, at the very. Um, are we having bad interruptions? Um, this is a matte finish by Krylon. I sprayed it over the vinyl Christmas bag to protect it. And um, I'm not understanding why this, yeah, the video is freezing. Uh, Kenzie, let me ask my granddaughter if she knows anything. Can I ask you a question? My video is freezing. Is anybody on the internet over there? My video is freezing. It's interrupting. I'm doing a live. It would just ask them if they are on the internet. Okay. I shouldn't have a problem because I always have very, very good internet here. Okay, I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see. But I did uh, point, I did do the, I did do the uh, gnomes and kind of uh, set them apart by Okay, it keeps interrupting and I don't understand why. Would you ask, did you say something to her? I turned it off and 
Okay, just for a minute. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm sorry for the interruption, and we'll just continue. Uh, Kylie wouldn't be on it getting ready, would she? No, she's not wrong. Okay. Uh, I have young granddaughters, and my 10-year-old uh, granddaughter does Facebook Lives, believe it or not, and she'll tell people about her hauls at uh, Dollar Tree or whatever and show them things that they should look out for when they're shopping and it amazes me. I mean, I can't even imagine. Um, okay, well, I'm going to continue this, but, it, but I can see that it's interrupted right now. I don't understand that because I have a real good signal. I'm showing a signal. There, goes again. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. And we'll... Hmm. Let me see if I can make an adjustment here, too. Uh, this isn't the... There you go. Okay. Uh, we finished this one and it's ready to use now. So um, that's what we'll do. I'm going to leave these plastic straps on because the new owner will see that it is a new bag and it's never been used. Now the next thing we did was I had some luncheon napkins and I decided I would paint them uh, in a butterfly design. And if you need a template of this, just let me know. Or, uh, you know, there are many meanings for the, for the I, did I say butterfly? I meant dragonfly if I didn't. Uh, there are many meanings for dragonfly and they're all positive. Um, and some of, there's a saying about if an angel is near you, uh, butterflies will fly away or something and so what we're going to do now is I am painting uh, some of some more detail to this so I can get around to the final to the final um, what I'm satisfied with as far as uh, the final dragonfly Chloe I'm still showing interruptions. Uh, my daughter, uh, this house has 5G, and I don't know if that should make it any better or not. I'm, I'm not techie. And um, to further prove that, you can just kind of like follow uh, some of the things I've done on the internet. Uh, this one is going to be necessary. There's a little more detail to this, so I'm just going to put my glasses on and work around that. I noticed yesterday I didn't really care for the shape of this uh, dragonfly's wings, but it's okay because I'm covering up uh, some of the color to um, even accentuate with another color. Chloe? What could be wrong with the internet? Oh yeah, Kirby said something about it too. Were you on the internet? Let me just get off of this. I will be about 10 minutes. Will that be possible for you to you know what? It could be. Were you on it? Mm -mm. Oh, I don't know what it is. I just turned it off. I just turned it off. Okay. Um, I'll be through with my live in just a minute. You go eat all those that candy. I'm just kidding you. Don't do it. Okay. I've noticed sometimes whenever you. Um, when several people get on the internet, this is a private uh, MiFi. I don't know whether it makes a difference or not. I don't know. 
Okay. And I'm just going to get this ready. I put a napkin underneath it in case some of the paint bleeds. <clears throat> this is not, um, if something happens to this while I'm painting it, it won't be a big loss. But you know what? The next time, the next time I paint these napkins, it, they will be on a nicer quality <clears throat> or nicer grade um, fabric. Uh, because I'm comfortable with it. And I'm going to get a... No. Another color. Now, this is... Um, this is the last time we will be doing the napkins. Uh, next week I have another project. I'm just going to put another color in here so it gives it... a little more color. And you can see that, I can tell. We'll see if, if it interrupts any more then I'll know it was not uh, my granddaughter on the internet, on her MiFi. But I'm surprised every time it's interrupted because you think, there's no way that'll happen. But So anyway, we'll be staying here. Tonight is um, uh, a football game at Clay High School. That's in Florida. And my granddaughter is a varsity cheerleader. One of the granddaughters is a varsity cheerleader, so she'll be leaving shortly for that. Let me see the others. Um, tomorrow is a big uh, Florida-Georgia game in Jacksonville. So lots of people going to that and lots of people having parties uh, with friends. And that's always an understatement. We're not. We're going to be here with kids. And then, um, one, the youngest granddaughter is it has her final soccer game in St. Augustine. So we'll be going to St. Augustine and taking her to that. We're really looking forward to that. And who knows, we might have time for a movie and all of that. I heard, have any of you seen Maleficent? Hey, Jane. Uh, is that a scary movie, or is that okay to take them to? Uh, I'm there for the popcorn. Uh, that's about it. Okay, so after this dries, I'm going to put a little bit of detail on that. But let me tell you first about, while we have a little break here, let me show you uh, what we're going to be doing next week. Uh, this is also one I'm going to be trying in one of my classes shortly, and it's a dough bowl. You can see, looks like it's. I think it's made to look primitive and very much um, uh, beat up. It's just made to look like that, and you know what dough bowls look like probably better than I do. Uh, popcorn and dots. Yep, I tell you. Oh, yeah, and they have those cards where you can get the great big tub of popcorn so that you don't want any popcorn for the rest of your life after you eat that. Now this has some, I can see it has some stain with, um, looks like it's bleeding a little bit through here, so I'll just take something and wipe that off, maybe alcohol or something like that. But I have plans for this guy, and I think you're going to like it a lot. Um, we won't go through with all that I'm going to do to this dough bowl, but I hope you'll look at next week's because we're going to, this is what we're going to be working on. So, after we finish this, you'll be able to use this. Um, because it's been stained, you wouldn't want to put food in it like that, but I could put a liner in it and use it for that. But I used my dough bowl uh, for um, a, a, an arrangement of pumpkins. And it looked very pretty uh, as a fall, part of my fall decor. So, what are y'all doing with all those pumpkins now? In Florida, um, 
they're all moldy and mushy and uh, had to be ours had to be put in the garbage this morning uh, before they went out of town because it was so hot and so humid they had to they had to go by the wayside now um, let me just put a few little details on this guy um, I want you to look up the meaning of dragonfly after we get through I had no idea um, dragonflies have been around for 3,000 years and with that there were a lot of Native American beliefs that were centered around dragonflies. I thought that was very interesting and that uh, they were such a spiritual symbolism. Uh, just kind of unusual to me. Okay, see just the, uh, the new color on here helps. Otherwise, I think the two colors would have been a little plain. Now, having said that, I've, I've used a turquoise and a lime, this is called, it's lime green. Um, but you don't have to do that. It is a catch-all bowl could be a catch-all bowl um, but last night I don't know what happened in your city but in my city we woke up and it was really really chilly I have on a jacket kind of like uh, just a oh uh, over jacket linen type jacket and I had to wear one you couldn't have gone out with, off without sleeves this morning so I think somebody will enjoy these um, napkins now if the, another idea for the napkins would be to find a lime green or another turquoise napkin and fold them in with this to make it like a double gift um, that's just just an idea but don't you see I've, I'm not finished with this because when it dries a little bit more I'm going to um, do some more detail and then I'll be finished with it and it'll be ready to give so in between that time I'm going yes um, I'm using a detail brush this one is a low Cornell it's called spotter but I have lots of little detail brushes that I use. Let me give you, show you an example of some of the detail brushes I use. I picked these up off the counter whenever I was leaving town and thought, uh, surely these will be okay, but I could have gotten a little bigger one. In fact, this low Cornell brush, probably, this is, this is number 5701. Uh, and it's also, um, it's a five slash zero detail brush. So if there are any larger than that, I think that could become one of my favorite detail brushes. So that's just an idea for you. But I love little detail brushes for just spot painting areas. And um, so I don't have to saturate uh, my project with paint. I can just kind of make it go around where I want it to go. This is not a fancy project. I hope if somebody is looking, they're not saying, oh man, this girl needs to do something. I do exactly what I want to do. So, yep. Uh, but I love the detail brushes for projects. And I'm kind of a detail painter. Um, I'd rather go ahead and do the details and come back and do some more details because I can cover up some of the mistakes that I have if I've made any or accentuate uh, what I'm trying to do. 
I want to put his arms out of there. So if a dragonfly comes next to you, I've had them light on my hand before, and I wasn't asking for it. That's a nice. Okay. Let me do one more over here. Um, I've kind of pointed out to myself that these projects can go fast. They don't have to be an all week project. Hi. What time does the game start? Um, seven. Seven. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, just call me or be careful, or if yes. you need anything, let me know. Yes. We're on standby just for you. <laughs> you have a team working for you tonight. Oh, good luck, too, at the game. So, one down, two to go. The other two are... This isn't like whenever you used to babysit your grandchildren and they uh, needed their diapers changed every five minutes. And you could just... <laughs> this, And you could just... Now you can really enjoy. And you're not afraid of them falling off the sofa and getting a concussion. Or what else? Eating something they're not supposed to. Uh, eating something they're not supposed to. Drawing on the wall. Uh, what? Drawing on the wall? Drawing on the wall. Drawing on the wall. Drawing on the wall. Uh, what's that game you play where it, uh, majority of the people say this? This is a good game for them. Uh, oh, and now, like last yesterday, we had a house full of people for Halloween. And there was one cutie there that just decided she was tired. She had had enough of it. <clears throat> and her parents had gone to all kind of trouble to make her into the perfect princess. Um, she had a meltdown. But she was adorable. Uh, she even had a, a Cinderella carriage with lights all over it. I'm not kidding. I don't know who makes that carriage. Do you know, Kylie? Not at all. But it was like, um, how do they do this? I don't know. But their plans were for her to get into the carriage. She would look like a princess, and they would carry her throughout the neighborhood. Well... She just did, she just really had enough of it and decided that wasn't what she wanted to do. I uh, hope your weekend goes well too, Jane. Bye bye. Have a great time and call us if you need us. Oh, that's great, Kylie. I appreciate it. Love you. Oh my. Uh, or a sweatshirt. Okay. Do you carry water with you or do they give it to you? Water. So it's Friday night lights around here, folks. Uh, it's going to be cold out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've got four of these. I have some extra napkins, but I'm not going to paint them right now. So let me show you one more time what we're going to be doing next week. And I know you're going to love this project. Um, and I will define some of these. You'll probably be seeing these napkins one more time again because I'm going to show you the finished project. But like I said, don't go out and buy any real expensive napkins 
uh, to paint or anything. Find them on sale. Oh, there you go. Okay, see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. This is the project we're going to be doing next week. And it's a dough bowl. Uh, it is leaking some sap or something around here that I'm going to have to wipe away. And um, you won't believe it whenever you see what we're going to do to this. So I hope I'll see you next week. Lekka, thank you for being here today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I wonder if it's going to snow in Raleigh. Uh, temperatures are freezing in Indiana. Ooh, I know it. And um, she did remember to come back and get her jacket. And um, so now we've got to use our imagination and think of something for dinner. Uh, we had a lot of chicken last night, so I might do something with that. But I'm going to fix a pot of chili for the game. Uh, the big uh, Florida-Georgia football game draws thousands to what used to be called the Gator Bowl, and I can't even think of the name of the stadium now, but uh, it's definitely um, excitement, and everybody dresses, well, they dress crazy for it now. We used to put on... Remember when people went to football games and they put on high heels? and um, I wore a wool suit with a blouse and a nylons. And if it rained and you had on um, snakeskin shoes, that was just the way it happened. So we're really excited about um, what's going to happen. But we're not going to get into all of that traffic tomorrow. We'll be taking care of our granddaughters Chloe, Kenzie, and Kylie. And uh, so anyway, I hope you all have a nice weekend. Just remember, it's a great day to have a great day. And I hope I see you again on Monday at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye now.